Hey, I'm Logan Christopher from Lost Empire Herbs, and today we're talking about a pretty amazing herb, Macuna. Macuna is a rich source of L-Dopa. If you're not familiar with L-Dopa, it's a neurotransmitter, and you might be familiar with dopamine, which is it's a precursor to, so it transforms itself into dopamine. Of course, L-Dopa itself does have functions in the body. Dopamine does so many different things. It has a hormonal component. It is uh, the neurotransmitter of desire. It's what kind of allows us to go out there and achieve different things. So a very important neurotransmitter. And Macuna is a rich source of the precursor to that. So it can be a very fascinating herb. Of course, there's much else that it is doing as well beyond the L-Dopa. We recommend you take a half teaspoon per day in order to get these effects. Now, Macuna is an interesting one. It doesn't work great for everyone, but some people it's one of the best things possible. And this is because with the neurotransmitters, you know, it's hard to judge whether you're high in one thing or low in it. So for some people, it could throw them out of balance perhaps. So really find out if it works for you. That's all we recommend. For some people, when they take Macuna, it can make them a little bit spacey. For other people, you'll definitely want to take it with food because the uh, Makuna can trigger a little bit of nausea. But as I said, for other people, it's great. It can boost growth hormone. It's uh, working on that testosterone access. It actually acts as a nootropic as well. So there's all kinds of different effects you can get from this magic velvet bean. As far as the taste, this is something that's a little bit salty, uh, so it, it can be a pretty powerful flavor right there. It's something that's pretty easy to just take straight, just take that spoonful, throw it in your mouth, and down with some water. This will also go pretty well with other stuff. It's not a very powerful flavor, so making smoothies with it or teas is gonna work. Some people also really like to add it to coffee. In some ways, Makuna is an anti-stimulant. If you take too much of something, this can help bring you back to normalcy. So working with coffee is a great option. And also one of the oldest historical drinks was Makuna along with cacao or chocolate because that has some stimulating properties too. So combining it with Makuna, you kind of bring out the magic in both of them. So definitely give Makuna a try. Like I said, it's an absolutely awesome herb for some people. You gotta find if it works well for you. And there's one way to do that. It's not researching, it's not looking at studies, it's trying it yourself and finding how it works. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to get more information, click the link around this video and you'll be taken to our website. Once there, you can click around. We have tons of information, scientific studies, details about the herbs and its historical use, reviews, and so much more. So head over there, you'll be able to find that info and pick up a bag today.